Hi guys, I'm back again, Maraid here. Um, it's Monday today. My hair is a little bit wispy and wild. You'll have to forgive me. I'm continually letting it grow this summer just so that I can get it up off my face and my neck and it's so much cooler that way. My little tale of woe today. Give you a little clue. <laughs> That's one ticket, and that's two tickets. Okay, two tickets, seventy-one fifty-five each. That was sixty-five forty-five face value. Service charge six ten. Very good seats in the Hogan stand in the lower tier, and we were going to be in row. We were going to be in section three. 3, 2, which wasn't too far away from the stand. Best seats I've ever had at a concert. I'll give you another clue. This man here, this handsome man here. CDs and DVD that I got for my birthday. Clue number three. If tomorrow never comes will he know how much i love him if i try in every way to show him every day he's my only one and if my time on earth were through and i had to face this world without him is the love i gave him in the past gonna be enough to last if tomorrow never comes. Yeah, it's Garth Brooks. <laughs> and wait till you hear my little story. Anyway, I mentioned in my last video about the Garth Brooks concert that I was supposed to be going to this weekend. It's actually the 27th. It, it was on it was supposed to be on starting on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the tickets sold out so fast there back in April, I think about April. They were sold out within an hour for the three concerts that were due to be held in the Croke Park in Dublin. So the promoters got in contact with Garth Brooks and he said he was willing to put on another two concerts subject to approval by the council. So Monday and Tuesday were added and um, tickets were pretty much sold out for the five nights and it was going to be great. Everybody was looking forward to Garth Brooks. I love his music. He hasn't given a tour for, I think, 17 years because he wanted to raise his family and stay at home with them. So this was a kind of a testing the waters. He had decided to do maybe five tours in Europe and see how things went and the stadium where the concerts are due holds 80,000 people so between the five nights there was going to be 400,000 people attending tickets sold out fabulous next thing we heard now I actually got my tickets in May it was part of a birthday present and they were purchased online from somebody who had already purchased them using his visa card and he was a very nice chap and um, very honest so I downloaded the tickets from him and I had those already and set to be used put in a safe place in May I think it was May or June the stadium now it's a gaa stadium in dublin in our capital city and it is in a residential area and they are meant to only have five concerts in the year that is their license they had already put on three um three dolly parton no not dolly parton she i think she was in the o2 they had three concerts for one direction uh, earlier in the year I think back in February so I suppose really they were only due to have two more so they went to the council anyway and they explained that they had sold tickets 
provisionally, I suppose, but still sold them for five nights. And could they get a license for the five nights? Now, many of the residents complained because their lives were going to be disrupted. Some of their streets and roads would be closed off from early afternoon. They wouldn't be able to get their cars in or out. They would be able to walk in and out, but it would have created difficulties for them. So between the Residents Association complaining and the council not wanting to break the terms of the agreement, they they only gave permission for three concerts. That would be the Friday night, the Saturday night, the Sunday. Great, I said, OK, I'm still in there. I have tickets for the Sunday night. But the poor people who had bought tickets for the Monday and Tuesday were going to be uh, reimbursed or whatever. So the organising the organizing management group went back to Garth Brooks and explained that... Um, Permission had only been given for the three nights. So Garth Brooks, uh, I suppose, being he's his, he's his own person and he didn't want to disappoint the people that had bought tickets for the Monday and Tuesday. So he, he sort of gave them an ultimatum and he said, look, I am going to perform five concerts in Dublin or none. So... The management went back to the council and explained uh, Garth Brooks's point of view. He didn't want to disappoint 160,000. Um, and uh, how would he pick which nights not to perform? And he just was unhappy with the situation. And he had made this ultimatum that it would be five concerts or none. So their council were up and down and at this stage some of the residents were sort of um, they were sort of sorry uh, about complaining I suppose because it was going to bring a lot of revenue to the city there would be people coming and staying in hotels there would be restaurants booked out and bed and breakfast place booked out and a lot of people were going to be selling things and products it was actually going to mean, I think, 50 million euro to tourism in Ireland. Well, principally in Dublin. I think 70,000 tickets had been sold overseas and those people were going to fly in and probably had flights booked as well. So the council discussed it all and they hummed and hawed and they said no, that they, they had to stick with their rules and three concerts was all that would be allowed. So, Garth Brooks has said, look, all my equipment is sailing across the sea, coming across the Atlantic Ocean, and it's already due to arrive in Ireland, costing, I suppose, many hundreds of thousands to ship all this equipment across. His crew were also coming, and he said, no, I am sticking with what I said. I'm either going to put on five concerts in Dublin or no concerts. So between the humming and the hawing last week, everybody was told the concerts are all off. Our tickets will be refunded through Ticketmaster and it's going to be a long and tedious process. So much revenue to the country has been lost. Uh, so many people have been disappointed. Garth Brooks himself must be out of pocket by a lot of money at this stage because I, I assume when his equipment arrives in Dublin, it'll just have to be turned around and sent back to America again. And I think the process has started already of refunding people. Now, my situation, of course, is... Similar to a lot of people, because the tickets sold out so quickly, a lot of tickets went up for sale on eBay. And the tickets I purchased were previously purchased from somebody on Ticketmaster. And I bought them from this person on eBay. So I contacted him anyway at the weekend and I said how disappointing the whole thing was. So he said, look, I'm on holidays at the minute. And um, when I get back from holidays, we'll sort it all out. So I'm disappointed. It would have been a lovely 
summer treat. I was looking forward to it. Um, I think these concerts are always memorable. Now they're very tiring going there and the big crowds and everything. But I mean, it was going to be a fabulous concert. So I am disappointed. So no Garth Brooks concert in Dublin this summer. And um, I link below my previous excited um, my previous excited video where I found out I was going to the Garth Brooks concert. So that's my tale of woe. Who's right? Who's wrong? I don't know. I really, really can't call it. It's a difficult one, but I think there are no winners. Everybody has lost out. Revenue to the country, people missing out on a great performance. Even just to give the country a lift, the atmosphere and oh, there just are no winners. So, tale of all, no Garth Brooks concert for me next Sunday. Look, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.